Rewind it. Check the tape. What's up guys? My name is Costas Lozanis. I am a restaurateur vlogger based in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. We're here at Lakewood Brewing Company. It is located in the manufacturing district of Garland, Texas. And we are going to be doing some tastings with the owner, Wim Bims. I'm turning 32 years old. My wife is having a baby and I was like, we gotta celebrate because these are two monumental moments in my life. At least the baby is. My birthday is not really important. If you didn't know, my wife's due date is actually on my birthday, the exact same day. So we'll see how that plays out. So what do you got for me going on over here today? Got a little plan in the works to come down to Opa and do a little tap takeover. That samples, these are full pours. Oh, What's going sorry. on over here, my man? I wanted to give you the full experience. So uh, let's, go, let's go through the beers. So we're gonna have six beers on tap, all very awesome beers. The first one that we have here is Lakewood IPA. Lots of citrus notes, 7% alcohol, um, just a really well-balanced IPA, not overly bitter, but has a lot of um, citrus and uh, tropical aroma to it. Second one right here is Lakewood Lager, one of our flagship beers here at Lakewood Brewing Company. Uh, lager is um, food's best friend, it really is. It, it goes amazingly with grilled meats. It's got a little bit of caramel malt in there. Um, and it really accentuates anything that comes off the grill. And being a lighter beer at 4.6%, it complements your food without serving as a meal all by itself. Speaking of a meal all by itself, uh, we have Temptress. Temptress is the beer that we're known for. It's an imperial milk stout. It is big, rich, chewy, chocolatey, roasty. Uh, it's everything that you want in a stout and more perfect for really all year round because we've got air conditioning everywhere in Texas, right? This one's Punkel. Punkel is our seasonal. It is a pumpkin pie spiced dark German lager. So again, a lighter beer and a lighter take on pumpkin beers. Uh, it doesn't have any pumpkin in it, just pumpkin pie spices. So it has a little bit of that fall spice going on. Um, makes you long for colder weather, which you know we hope is right around the corner. This is the big boy of the evening. This is going to be Lion Share 6. It's a combination of a barrel-aged stout, a barrel-aged uh, barley wine, a barrel-aged wheat wine, and a barrel-aged rye wine. This is about 12%, but it's also a very, very awesome, complex beer. Save this one for dessert. It's very, very good. And then the last one, last but not least, is Lemon Ale. This is one of our newer releases that we came out this year. Lemon Ale is a golden ale with real lemon juice added. Uh, so it just gives you that nice little crispness. This is going to go great with Mediterranean fare, absolutely. Uh, just having a little bit of that lemon in it. So this is what we got for the evening. Hope you guys enjoy and come out and join us. What is your favorite? Dark wet and dreary. Head under the water. I feel the weight of your pressure. And the heat is on. Yes, the heat is on. I gotta keep it together Keep my head on the water I feel my breath You were marketing right before. Yeah. The so marketing is yeah. so important, and that's obviously why we're shooting the video today. It's like absolutely. We have a great product, but we gotta let everybody know how great it is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, it. You know, there's a lot of noise out there. Bang bang boom. I won't be your waiting hand. I won't be your stepping stone.
hope you guys enjoyed the video. Just a little bit of context. The reason why I'm here, the reason why I'm shooting this video, the reason why I'm YouTubing is like I have been on this mission to make Greek food great again. The North Texas Greek scene is like old stuffy restaurants with like old Greek men running them and stuff. It's very, I don't know, depressing. And if I can make Greek food fun and hip and modern, appeal to the millennials, like that, that's my whole jam. That's what drives me to create all these videos and market and promote Greek food. The craft beer scene is the hippest, hoppest place in North Texas. And while everybody else is like eating enchiladas and chicken fried steak down here, I'm like, you could try to pair one of the newest, coolest beers with a lamb souvlaki platter. Why not, right? So that's why I'm so passionate about making these videos. That's why I'm so passionate about riding the coattails of this craft beer wave. I love craft beer, don't get me wrong, but like in addition to that, the deeper meaning is I can associate Opa Greek Taverna with some of the hottest brands in the North Texas area. Hey, a special thanks to Lakewood Brewing Company, the owner, Wim Bims. Thanks for taking time out of your busy day to help me pair the, the right beers to create this awesome tap takeover. For everybody else, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. Hit that thumbs up button, a comment below, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Mimi.